Chapter 931, Summoning Technique, 3. Guji 1. The little red, chubby dragon was confused as to what was going on as it stood on the summoning array. Shen Yang Xiao was completely stunned. What about the overlord lover beast? What about the one foot that was enough to flatten a city? Shen Yang Xiao felt like crying but had no tears as she looked at the palm-sized mini dragon. This little fellow's body was fiery red. Its head and body were nearly the same size and on its back covered with dragon scales was a pair of thumb-sized dragon wings. No matter how one looked at it, it was just like some cute stuffed toy, which part of it seemed like a domineering killing monster that could sweep over every direction. Shen Yang Xiao felt very depressed. She knew that it was stupid for her to think that she could already summon an overlord level phantom beast when she had just broken through the second stage. But, this fellow was just too little. Looking at that miniature dragon that was almost the same size as the small phoenix, Shen Yang Xiao's shoulders immediately collapsed. Guji, Guji, the mini dragon did not seem to be aware that the summoner who had called him was secretly filled with disappointment. It unsteadily took a small step with its almost negligible tiny claws. Wobbling, it fluttered forward for a little while until it reached Xu's feet at a creeping speed. Then, this extreme fauna went to Xu's toes and rubbed its head against them. I didn't summon this little thing. I didn't summon this little thing. Shen Yang Xiao could not bear to look at it directly. Forget about its appearance that was not the least bit intimidating. But wasn't it summoned using her own blood as a medium, then why? Instead of running and acting intimately with its summoner, this thing went to that great master's toe and did its best to act coquettishly to him instead. This was too unreasonable. Xu raised his eyebrow, he stooped down a bit, and used his two fingers to lift the mini dragon that was sticking tightly to his feet. A. Eh? For a moment, Shen Yang Xiao's mouth was opened. She suddenly remembered what Xu did to an eighth ranked magical beast. She could not help but release a cold sweat as she looked at that adorable yet not so mighty phantom beast. You can act spoiled and cute whenever you want, but you should take a look at your target first. You actually dare to provoke that great master? It actually dared to touch that great master's pure toes? That was simply blasphemy. Just when Shen Yang Xiao thought that Xu would kill this mini dragon for dirtying his pure toe, Xu instead put it on the table. It has been a long time since I saw a phantom dragon. You know what this thing is? Shen Yang Xiao asked. Xu nodded. This thing is called a phantom dragon. It is something similar to the dragons of this world. Except it lives in a different realm and can only go to this world with the help of a summoner. A phantom dragon's physique is comparable to that of a dragon from the dragon race, however, its intellect is higher than the dragons here. And not only is their defense high, they can also create an environment that confuses the enemy. During the battle of gods and devils, a saint summoner from the human race summoned the king of the phantom dragons, which killed 100,000 devils in a flash. Shen Yang Xiao's eyes blinked for a while. Killed 100,000 devils in a flash? That was the devil race. Ah, that was the world's most vicious race. Yet a phantom dragon actually managed to kill 100,000 of these powerful foes. Just by thinking about it, Shen Yang Xiao could not help but feel that the phantom dragons were really too ferocious. I remember that the king of the phantom dragons was known as the Wing of Death. Unfortunately, no one from the human race can summon it anymore. Xu raised his finger and poked the mini dragon's little wings. The king of the phantom dragons? The wing of death? Shen Yang Xiao didn't really know much about the phantom beasts. One, sound of the baby dragons like the chirp chirp of bird. We retain the pine in. Chapter 932, Summoning Technique, 4, Xu replied in a moderate pace. Just like the magical beasts. The phantom beasts are also divided into different levels. Magical beasts are divided into low level, mid level, high level, mythological level, holy level and legendary level beast. The same is true for the phantom beasts except that after the high level, the next level is called elite phantom beast, then the overlord phantom beast, and the highest level of phantom beasts is the demon overlord. The wing of death is the strongest of all phantom dragons, in other words, it is a demon overlord, so, that overlord lava beast is as powerful as a holy level magical beast? Shen Yang Xiao heard a lot about the overlord lava beast from Yun Qi. Almost, however, compared to a phantom beast, 
a magical beast is a bit weaker. If the phantom beast were to exist in this world, then I'm afraid the status of the magical beasts in this world would be in crisis. Xi supported his chin while looking at the mini dragon that was acting coquettishly, hugging the finger of his other hand. There was not a trace of emotion in his eyes. Compared to a phantom beast, a magical beast is a bit weaker? Shen Yang Xiao was speechless. The magical beast lives in the Radiance continent where the humans live. Naturally, they'll be weaker. Even a demon beast is more powerful than a magical beast. However, a magical beast can work together with humans in battles, so their degree of adaptability is higher than the other two. On the other hand, demon beasts hardly have any intelligence. They're the type that only have well developed limbs but are simple minded. As long as one can find their weakness, it would be very easy to kill them. The phantom beasts are the kings of the beast race. Unfortunately they can only exist in this world for a short period of time and even need to rely on their own summoner's capability. They are not suitable for a long lasting fight. In a nutshell, the value of a magical beast is that it is the most dependable and reliable. Xi simply stated this after analyzing the three species of beasts. He explained each of their advantages and disadvantages. Although a magical beast's strength was weaker than the other two, their advantage was that they could sign a contract with a human being and cooperate with them in battle. They had no time limit and had high loyalty. Demon beasts, on the other hand, did not have high intelligence and therefore, could only be used on the front line. If they met an individual who was familiar with demon beasts, they would definitely suffer a major loss. Meanwhile, Phantom beasts were both strong and smart, but in the end, they were not creatures from this world. They could only be here for a limited time, and so they could only be used in decisive battles. Phantom beasts had done the highest damage to the devil race. During the battle between the gods and devils, they were often seen everywhere. But now, at the present time, it's difficult to see them. Xi seemed to be recalling the past events as his cold eyes stared at the mini dragon with indifference. At least, he didn't directly kill it. Are the phantom beasts really that strong? Shen Yang Xiao asked while bitterly looking at the mini dragon's appearance. What level is it then? She was not hoping for it to be an elite or overlord phantom beast anymore, but at least a higher level one so as to not lose too much face. Xu shifted his gaze to her and slowly let out words that almost made Shen Yang Xiao vomit blood. Newborn cubs are merely the lowest among the low-level phantom beasts. So in the end, what she summoned was really just a stuffed toy. The corner of Shen Yang Xiao's mouth was pulled down. She had truly done the worst. Now, she could only accept and endure even if this mini dragon was just a low-level phantom beast. But, to think that it was actually a newborn cub that was the lowest even among the low-level phantom beasts. Thinking about the small phoenix that had the strength of a rank 8 magical beast as soon as it was born. And then looking back at this mini dragon, Shen Yang Xia could only say that this was the biggest failure she had encountered in her glorious life. Was this phantom beast be the thing that would throw her into a pit? Guji, the mini dragon did not notice that his presence was a terrible blow to someone else as he continued to stay on Xu's side and act cute. Shen Yang Xia felt like her body was already full of cuts and bruises as she was covering her face. She then bent over and picked up the mini dragon from the table. Chapter 933, Summoning Technique, 5. How do I send this fellow back? Shen Yang Xiao must absolutely not let anyone know about this matter. That on her first time summoning, she actually summoned such a stupid and adorable stuffed toy. But, what about Xu? Xu was not entirely a human. Cut off the magic transmission, or put it back in the summoning array to let it go back itself. Xu looked at the vivid expression of Shen Yang Xiao and his eyes seemed to have a hint of laughter. All right, Shen Yang Xiao, gallantly and filled with vigor, carried the mini dragon in her hand and walked towards the summoning array. Why did she not just cut off the magic transmission? Forgive her, Yan Chi had never expected her to break through to the second stage profession so quickly, so, he had not taught her how to cut off the magic transmission yet. Guji, the mini dragon's crimson eyes looked at Shen Yang Xiao's gloomy face. It did not know why the human being who summoned it had such a terrible atmosphere around her. Shen Yang Xiao placed the mini dragon on the summoning array and put both of her hands on her hips before saying, You can go back now. Guji, the mini dragon tilted its head, 
its eyes filled with confusion, go back, Shen Yang Xiao commandingly said, Gu, Zhi, Shen Yang Xiao stood outside the summoning array, and dumbfoundedly stared at the mini dragon, Xu seemed to know what the problem was and said, since it's still a newborn, it doesn't know how to go back, no way, Shen Yang Xiao turned her head to look at Xu with a desperate expression, that should be it, Xu narrowed his eyes, a newborn phantom beast was much more fragile and ignorant than a magical beast, a phantom beast's strength could only mature by cultivating in their own world, that's not true, ah, that thing is going to make me die. Shen Yang Xiao wanted to cry, seeing the silly mini dragon standing in the summoning array and showing an I'm so cute expression, she had the urge to strangle it alive, she did not know how to cut off the magic transmission, and the mini dragon could not go back by itself, what could be good about this, Xu, do you know how long it will take before it will consume all my magic, Shen Yang Xiao could only pray that the magic consumption for summoning this phantom beast in this world was so huge that she could send this stuffed toy back due to lack of magic, Xu glanced at Shen Yang Xiao, who had just broken through to the second stage profession, and then looked at the mini dragon that was in a daze, he said a conclusion that made Shen Yang Xiao fall even deeper into the abyss, newborn phantom beasts do not need much magic, with your present magic source, supporting it in this world for a decade or two should be fine, god, ah, please just kill her with a thunderbolt, the mini dragon couldn't wait for Shen Yang Xiao to give it a hug of love, so it began to stride with its two short legs and jumped toward Shen Yang Xiao's body, Shen Yang Xiao helplessly looked at it, the stuffed toy used its four small claws to slowly climb on her body, finally, it crawled up to Shen Yang Xiao's shoulder, the mini dragon's two small claws steadily grabbed Shen Yang Xiao's clothes and then stood up, Guji, the mini dragon felt that it was standing high, so it tried hard to unfold its pair of mini wings in order to look mighty, but the effect, forget about it, should I be happy that it at least didn't lie on my head, Shen Yang Xia wiped away her sweat, she suddenly thought of the time when she brought the small phoenix home and left it with the million bird to raise, and now, it was finally her turn, she still felt very tragic about all this, at least, the small phoenix was a rank 8 high level magical beast, it could be considered a reserved mythological beast, furthermore, it was also followed by its parents who were both mythological beasts as well, chapter 934, summoning technique, 6, on the other hand, this mini dragon, other than being adorable, it was really just a useless little one, Shen Yang Xiao had indeed picked up a lot of things in this life, for example, Lan Feng Lai, another example, the small phoenix, and another one, Fu Tu, Lan Feng Lai, who was a super killing god, was now part-timing as Shen Yang Xiao's number one personal little tale, the small phoenix became the first stuffed toy of the rising sun city, and although its own fighting power was not ominous yet, the fighting power of its parents was extremely formidable, and Futa was leading a group of higher demons, the mini dragon could be said to be the most useless creature that Shen Yang Xiao had ever picked up, and this creature was actually summoned by herself even, I can really only bring it with me, Shen Yang Xiao felt very powerless, she did not want to toss the mini dragon away, nor kill it, she would never do such unkind things, yes, Xu nodded his head, okay, Shen Yang Xiao was truly helpless, from now on, she would carry such an ornament on her body, apart from proactively consoling herself that it was all alright, Shen Yang Xiao really did not know what else she could do, the fact that she had broken through to the second stage of her two professions had all been ignored by her because of the appearance of this mini dragon, Shen Yang Xiao did not plan to continue summoning other phantom beasts, she had no clue how to send a phantom beast back to their world, so if she accidentally summoned more mini dragons, she was afraid that her thin shoulders could not support them, removing the summoning array, Shen Yang Xiao allowed the mini dragon to stand on her shoulder and show its might. The next day, while Long Zui Yao was delivering Shen Yang Xiao's breakfast, she was instantly surprised the moment she saw that thing on her shoulder. Shen Yang Xiao could only spout an excuse that this fellow was her own magical beast, just to get on with it. However, Long Zui Yao's expression when she left was really thought-provoking across her whole face. 
The word sympathy was clearly written, because the mini dragon's body had no breath at all, it was seemingly no different than an ordinary wild animal. Long Zwei Ao naturally thought that the mini dragon was a low level magical beast, or the kind that was inherently weak. Just imagine a genius youth, who had a jaw dropping strength actually owned a mere low-level magical beast. The shocking effect this would have on people could be imagined. Shen Yang Xiao was very helpless. She could only think of sending a letter to Yan Qi after she returned to the Rising Sun City, asking him how to cut off the magic transmission. Because of Shen Yang Xiao's speculations, Long Zwei Ao and Long Fei also discussed for a long time, and finally decided to go to the Rising Sun City in two days. To the outside. They would just be paying a visit, but they were actually going there to ask Shen Yang Xiao to lift the curse on Long Fei's body. Of course, this matter, apart from the two deputy heads of the Blizzard Mercenary Corps who were present at that time, was only known by the father and son Gebert. There was no need to mention that Long Zwei Ao would go. So, of course, Galan would put his son in the team as well. He said that Gufeng would go there to tie a connection with the Rising Sun City on behalf of the Divine Wind Alliance, but in truth, it was actually so that Gufeng could draw his relationship to Long Zwei Ao closer on the way. This small thought, everyone actually knew. On the day before their departure, Long Fei also invited Shen Yang Xiao to travel with them to the Rising Sun City. After all, the true nature of his affliction was discovered by Shen Yang Xiao. Moreover, Long Fei also intended for Shen Yang Xiao to feel a certain sense of belonging in the Blizzard Mercenary Corps. And then, he would invite her to join in the future. Shen Yang Xiao had already broken through to the second stage, so she must also return to the Rising Sun City now. And with such a smooth ride appearing before her, she would naturally not refuse it. However, if Long Fei knew that this youth he favored so much had actually stolen the blueprint of his home's thunder artillery, one did not know what he would feel. Chapter 935, Return to the Rising Sun City, 1. For Long Fei to reach the Rising Sun City, they must travel through the northern and eastern region. No one knew how many demons they would encounter. Kin Kaiyang had stayed in the Blizzard City to manage everything there, while Wu Run accompanied Long Fei to the Rising Sun City along with Long Zwei Yao. Gufeng, and Shen Yang Xiao. There were also 300 senior professionals with them. With such a striking team, even if they encountered a demon attack, there would be nothing that could stop them. With so many powerful mercenaries, although they had encountered a few waves of demons in the northern region, Long Fei and the rest had gotten through it without any mishap. Shen Yang Xiao did not fight from the beginning to the end. She had already broken through into the second stage and there was no need to take a demon as a training partner. Moreover, the mini dragon seemed to like to stand on her shoulders, and Shen Yang Xiao did not want to walk around with this stupid fellow all day. It was because, the look of the, the mini dragon's small face was just too arrogant. It seemed to think of itself as an emperor. Even though it was only standing on Shen Yang Xiao's shoulder, it looked at other people with eyes full of contempt. It was only Long Zwei Ao who thought that the mini dragon was actually cute and would come to her from time to time to tease it. However, the reaction of the mini dragon could only be described with the word, Sandir One. And so, without encountering any mishap, the team safely left the northern region and continued onwards to the eastern region that belonged to the Long Xuan Empire. This is the eastern region? It is a lot warmer than the north. Long Zwei Ao and Shen Yang Xiao were riding in the same carriage, along with Long Fei and Wu Run. Gu Feng was, by Long Fei's arrangements, riding in another carriage. The reason was simply because that fellow was too noisy. There are quite a lot of demons in the eastern barren land. And the demons here do not have much contact with their human race. Unlike the demons in the north, we must be careful around everything here. Long Fei looked out of the window. One time. He sent some miners from the Blizzard City into the eastern region, but unfortunately, a disaster happened. That was why he was very clear that the demons here were very cruel. With the exception of the eastern region, humans had long been stationed in the other three regions of the barren land. Their three cities had also been making a deal with several of the surrounding demons, exchanging many slaves to obtain relative stability. However, 
The Rising Sun City was only built a few months ago. Even if they were to have had this idea, he was afraid that it was not possible to have implemented it so soon. Longfi relayed this message to all the members, after entering the eastern region, they must be on their guard as there was always a possibility of fighting with the demons at any time. But, on the first day they entered the eastern region, although the team had seen shadows of some demons from far away, those demons not only did not launch an attack in their direction, but turned away instead. Longfi only thought that those were just some lower demons. Seeing a large number of people on their side, they were not bold enough to step forward. The next day, a group of demons led by five or six higher demons passed by the side of their carriage openly. All the mercenaries were almost ready to fight. The result was that several of the higher demons only looked at them calmly, before taking their own younger brothers to continue to hurry forward. They didn't seem to have any plans to eat humans. The same was true on the third day. Longfi wondered, since their team of Blizzard City entered the eastern region, there had not been any action. It had only been a few months since the time he had sent some people from the Blizzard City to this region. So how come the demons in the eastern region had become so polite? They saw them yet they did not even pounce on them to eat them. And they were even apparently used to it as they had completely ignored their team full of humans. 1. A person who is cold on the outside but is actually soft in the inside. Chapter 936 Return to the Rising Sun City 2. It was not only Longfi who was stunned, the mercenaries who followed him were also quite baffled. It was almost a habit for humans and demons to fight upon meeting each other. So now that they were seeing waves of demons wandering around before their own eyes, God knew that every time they encountered a demon, their hearts would leap into their throats. However, these swaggering demons never attacked them. But this did not help calm their nerves. They had remained vigilant until those demons disappeared. Only then would their calm return. Having said that, with their increasing encounters with the demons, the anticlimactic situation had also increased. This group of mercenaries had already been depressed and wanted to make a big glamour. What the heck was going on with these demons of the eastern region? You have to fight. Ah, what kind of attitude did you all have to not fight, but hang around in front of us? Did you not know that teasing people's nerves like that was harassment? The demons of the eastern region were very innocent. During this time, the businessmen who had entered the Rising Sun City for business deals were almost endless. At first, they knew a bit that they should avoid these humans. But these people were endlessly moving back and forth between the rising sun city and the border to transport things, which seriously affected the normal life of the demons. So they simply did not shy away. At most, they would only look at the humans but not eat them. Ever since then, the demons carried a healthy way of thinking. We won't eat you, why should we? Feel free to wander around in the eastern region. And so, it caused the Blizzard Mercenary Corps, this group of people, to encounter such a strange scene today. Both sides were innocent, and both sides were very helpless. They could only continue this awkward situation. Shen Yang Xiao sat in the carriage and listened to the dialogue between Longfi and Wu Run. When did the demons in the eastern region become so friendly? Wu Run was truly dumbfounded, watching as another group of demons passed by their team. This might be better though. The demons that passed them were only looking straight ahead, not even sparing them a glance. The mercenaries in this team of humans could only cry and watch these passing demons. And on the mercenaries' faces, the sentence, Since you dare to come out, why don't you dare to hit us? was clearly written. Wu Run was extremely helpless. And what made him even more helpless was that, in the group of demons that had passed by their team, as soon as a higher demon muttered something, there was a middle demon who impressively stood upright and waved his bare paws like claws while facing Wu Run in the carriage. It was waving at him. This world was truly insane. Wu Run was thoroughly stupefied. I saw a demon waving at me. Wu Run's voice was quite awkward. He began to wonder if he had just seen an illusion. Longfi sighed. He really felt that everything that happened after they entered the eastern region was bizarre. The demons here are pretty cute. Long's way out caught sight of the silly demon that was waving its fleshy claws. Although it appeared a bit ugly, 
It looked like a magical beast and not a middle demon. To make this kind of action was really adorable. Is it really true that the demons in the eastern region have collectively changed their character? Is that why Shen Yangtze Hour could build her city at such a fast pace? Because the demons here have no habit of eating people? At last. Wu Run's knowledge had widened by seeing such a one-of-a-kind group demons. He deeply felt that the, the Rising Sun City's fast construction was certainly connected to these demons' well-behaved attitudes. Chapter 937, Return to the Rising Sun City, 3. Longfi looked at Wu Run from the corner of his eyes and said, how many of the people that we have sent to the eastern region were eaten by the demons here? Wu Run froze for a moment. There was a trace of uneasiness on his face. He scratched his head and replied, there seems to have been be quite a lot. When the eastern region still had no owner, the three other forces did not dig for or in the eastern region any less. However, the benefits to taking advantage of that time were also not very good. At the beginning, they had no understanding of the situation in the eastern region, and Blizzard City paid a lot of mercenary lives in exchange. The demons here must have encountered something, otherwise they would not become like this now. Longfi did not think that it was so simple. The viciousness of the demons was their nature. Their thirst for human internal organs and the human desire for food were the same. There was no reason for them to give up their food. Longfi narrowed his eyes. After Shen Yangtze Ao entered the rising sun city that day, he had consciously evacuated all the people of Blizzard City from this area. He was not very clear about what had really happened here. Is this somehow related to Shen Yangtze Ao? Wu Run said, I'm positive about that. Long Fi nodded his head. The two people continued to ramble on, and Long Zwei Ao watched and listened to them with great interest. On one side, Shen Yangtze Ao closed her eyes in repose but her ears did not miss the conversation between the two. Shiver, stupid humans. This was all the result of her proper raising. In her territory, one absolutely could not find any demon who ate humans. Shen Yangtze Ao was very confident but at the same time, felt very unfortunate. If the demons in her territory had not been raised so well, why would she need to go to the north just to find a demon to practice with? This really made her shed tears. Ah, along the way. The easy path forward made the people of Blizzard Mercenary Corps almost forget that they were still in the barren land. This journey was far more peaceful than walking on the edge of their own city, completely distorting these mercenaries' views of the world. At the beginning, they would immediately become alert at the sight of the demons. But now, they would just watch the demons and even occasionally see some waving at them. In just a few days, the moral principle of the Blizzard Mercenary Corps was broken into pieces. If not because they had a purpose to keep advancing forward, they probably would have already begun to try making further contact with these overly friendly demons. Demons that did not eat humans? This was extremely strange okay. They wanted to talk to them about life. The closer they got to the Rising Sun City, the more profound Shen Yangtzeao's mood was. Ever since she left the Rising Sun City, she had often received fluctuations in her heart from Vermilion Bird. However, she had previously thrown a meaningful glance at Vermilion Bird before she left, giving him a hint to not rely on their spiritual link to find her specific location. Although Vermilion Bird was arrogant, he respected her choices a lot. Only, those spiritual fluctuations she was receiving, in all likelihood, were the result of him despising her. But now that she was about to reach the Rising Sun City, the connection between Shen Yangtzeao and Vermilion Bird had become clearer, she could feel it, and certainly, Vermilion Bird could feel it as well. The connection between the master and the contractual magical beast was difficult to cut off, even though she was full of energy when she ran away at the beginning. Now, seeing as she was about to return to her city, Shen Yangtzeao's heart was a bit scared. She could almost imagine that after her return, those guys who had been forced to take over her work would go berserk with anger. As soon as she thought of the public anger that she would soon receive upon entering the city, Shen Yangtzeao's mood became so extremely complex that she no longer had any interest in listening to Longfi's conversation. Chapter 938, Return to the Rising Sun City, 4 When the large troops of the Blizzard Mercenary Corps arrived before the gates of the Rising Sun City, Everyone was astonished. Standing below the dark and tall walls of the city, they could feel an invisible pressure in each of their hearts. After being used to seeing the white walls of Blizzard City, 
Now seeing the darkness in front of them, the people of the Blizzard Mercenary Corps couldn't help but swallow their saliva. This was the legendary city that was built in no more than six months. This, this was just too extravagant okay. Just standing outside the city, one could tell that this city was more than twice as big as Blizzard City. From the city walls to the city gate, there was no place where the construction was not perfect. It was impossible to pick out the slightest fault. The perfection of the Rising Sun City had brought great shock to everyone who had come here. Who could have imagined that such a close to perfect city had actually been built in just less than half a year's time? How long had it taken to build the Blizzard City? How long for the magical fantasy city? What about the Twilight City? Which of these three cities did not take more than five years? But the Rising Sun City only used a tenth of their time to build a city that was even wider than their cities. This was tantamount to slapping the faces of the other three city lords. This city's wall is made of obsidian, Wu Run swallowed his saliva with difficulty. He subconsciously walked in front of the wall and reached out his hand to touch the cold wall. It really is too extravagant. He was very clear about how precious obsidian was. They had plundered many obsidian stones from the eastern region in the past. But no one ever dared to extravagantly use it to such a point. The structure of the city walls is very reasonable. It seems that Shen Yang Xiao had also made some efforts. Our blizzard city really is inferior when compared. Longfei looked at the rising sun city before his eyes, and although there was shock in his heart, he did not have the slightest envy. His manner was broad and level. If there ever was a thing to envy, it was only the fact that Shen Yang Xiao could build such a city in such a short period of time. It's dark, nothing good to look at. Gu Feng alighted from the carriage. He had a gloomy expression on. He originally planned to get closer to Long Zui Yao during this journey, but he had been arranged to sit on a different carriage. Aside from the meal and rest time, there was no other chance to see Long Zweiyao. What was even more depressing was that that country bumpkin Shen could actually sit with Long Zweiyao in the same carriage. Wu Run glanced at Gufeng. He was really not pleased to see Gufeng at all. This second generation child, Gulan at least had some ability, but this Gufeng, who was a full-fledged second generation child, was an idiot. If not for considering Gulan's face. Who would like to pay attention to this brat? No one still cared about Gufeng. Gufeng was not that much concerned about this, but he was unwilling to be neglected like this. Putting on an act, he looked at the city gate of the Rising Sun City and saw only four soldiers stationed to guard. He could not help but smile, no matter how spectacular the construction of the city walls was, it is just a big piece of meat to satisfy fat people. Such a big city but there are only four soldiers guarding the city gates. I'm afraid this place, the Rising Sun City, is just an empty shelf, and is much worse than our Blizzard City. The Rising Sun City has just been built recently. It's only normal to not make full arrangements for her staff yet. Longfi thought that it was nothing at all. The military force in general cities could not be compared with that of the Blizzard City. Some advantages of the Blizzard City were inherent. This was undeniable. Comparing their own strong point to another's shortcomings, Longfi would not do such a shameless thing. Chapter 939, Return to the Rising Sun City, 5. Gufeng did not get the support of Longfi and dared not say anything more. Even if he was arrogant, he did not dare to go against Longfei. Longfei let Wu Run tell the guards at the city gate to convey their visit to Shen Yang Xiao, and indicate that they requested to see her. But, you came to see our city lord. The guard's expression was weird as he asked. Yes, I ask the brother to please report soon, Wu Run said politely. The guards glanced at each other and then one of them entered the city and reported. Not a few moments later, a pretty young girl arrived. The girl was wearing a long yellow dress, and a smile was plastered on her beautiful little face. Behind her was a brawny middle-aged man who gave off a feeling full of momentum. Gu Feng swallowed his saliva the moment she saw the girl. Before, all the rumors about Shen Yang Xiao, contained only information about her eccentric temperament and nothing more. Everyone kept saying that she was just someone who did not walk in the right path and stubbornly pursued the warlock profession in school. Beside that, 
The only thing that could be added on was her reputation of building the rising sun city. Who knew that this Shen Yangtze hour was unexpectedly beautiful? Gu Feng was secretly looking at the little girl in front of him. Different from Long Zui Ao's delicate appearance, this girl was a little sweeter, like a small flower in a greenhouse. People couldn't help but care for her. However, she was just that attractive. She did not contain any slightest momentum. It must be that her role in building the rising sun city had been overstated. On the way, Gu Feng had witnessed the eastern demon's friendliness. Then, he thought of the surprisingly fast speed at which the rising sun city was built. Looking at the Shen Yang Xiao, who was charming but not domineering, before him, he could not help thinking that she was lucky enough to get such a city. Gu Feng's heart could not help but hold some contempt. In the end, Shen Yang Xiao only built the city through luck. If it were him, he would have set the speed of construction even faster. This must be the city lord of the rising sun city, Shen Yang Xiao. This one is Wu Run, the deputy head of the Blizzard Mercenary Corps. I came along with my corps head to visit Lord Shen. Wu Run took one step forward. They came here to ask a favor after all, so his attitude was quite modest. However, the girl looked startled as she stared at Wu Run who had bowed to her. Her beautiful little face was slightly red. She smiled and said, the deputy head is joking, I am just a maid beside the city lord, not the city lord herself. What? Wu Run was slightly surprised. The young girl started to introduce herself. This little woman is called Yin Jujun. The city lord is currently tied up with something and let me come instead. So I got the wrong person. Wu Run was a bit embarrassed. Our head has something to discuss with Lord Shen. I wonder if the city lord can find time to meet our head. Yin Jujun smiled and said, I invite you to rest in the city first. I will inform the city lord later. Hearing that, Wu Run was not able to say anything more. He just spoke to Long Fei about something. Yin Jujun entered the city along with the people from the Blizzard Mercenary Corps. After coming inside, the prosperous life in the city stunned all the members of the Blizzard Mercenary Corps. The clean and well-maintained streets were filled with shops and businesses. The flow of businessmen was endless. If they did not know that the Rising Sun City was just a ruin no more than half a year ago, they would have really thought that they had mistakenly entered a regular city of another country. Long Fi secretly marveled at the situation inside the Rising Sun City. In such a short period of time, Shen Yang Xiao was actually able to let businessmen enter the city to do business. He thought that she must have really expended a lot of effort to manage the security in the eastern region. Even in Blizzard City, there would be a lot of mercenaries protecting businessmen while entering their city. However, he saw that many caravans here did not bring many guards as they entered the city. One could imagine how safe the path from the border to the rising sun city was in these people's minds. Chapter 940, Return to the Rising Sun City, 6. Shen Yang Xiao walked at the very end of the team. Watching the current situation in the rising sun city, she was also very happy. When she left the rising sun city, there wasn't this much business yet. But everything was now established, one month later. Presumably, the people in the city should have put in a lot of effort. Yin Jujun had also done very well in going out and greeting Long Fei and the others. No one would have thought that this girl was a timid slave girl months ago. Shen Yang Xiao was delighted with the development of the rising sun city while observing the changes that occurred. A month after she left, the situation was even better than what she had expected. However, there was one more thing she was curious about, that was whether the group of people from the God's Domain had already left. A huge reason why she was so eager to slip away was because of the people from the God's Domain. She always felt that the emergence of the fake Holy Sage was strange. But she did not want to get involved in the affairs of the God's Domain. So after listening to Xu's words, she had been so impatient to leave. She was still walking with team, but then, Long Fei, who was walking at the forefront, suddenly stopped. Shen Yang Xiao looked forward with doubt and found that Long Fei actually stopped in front of the Demon's Trade Union's entrance. This Demon's Trade Union was the mercenary trade union that Shen Yang Xiao assigned to the demons in the city. During the time when the people of the God's Domain came over, she did not allow the higher demons to move around on the surface. But now, there seemed to be many higher demons dressed in tidy mercenary uniforms, 
going in and out of the demon's trade union's entrance. Could it be that the people of God's domain had already left demon's trade union? This name is such a novelty. Long's way I was not interested in girly things very much, but she was very concerned about mercenary things. When she saw the plaque where the words demon's trade union was written, she immediately became curious. Longfi narrowed his eyes and did not speak. It's only a small mercenary corps. It surely is far worse than our mercenary corps in the Divine Wind Alliance. Gefeng didn't want to acknowledge that the Rising Sun City was better than the Blizzard City. In particular, when he saw the buildings inside the city, he suffered a tremendous impact on his heart. Now that he saw a mercenary trade union in the Rising Sun City, he finally found a little self-confidence. On the Radiance Continent, could other mercenaries be of higher quality than the mercenaries of the Air Divine Wind Alliance? Gefeng's voice was not small, when coupled with his undisguised derision, he immediately caught the attention of several mercenaries who had just come out of the Demon's Trade Union. One of the mercenaries immediately looked at Gefeng and frowned, Shen Yang Xiao, standing at the back recognized the guy. This mercenary was none other than one of the top five higher demons in the Rising Sun City. Tanku unhappily looked at Gufeng who just spoke conceited nonsense and coldly said, just where did this short-sighted guy pop up from, going out without a brain and speaking out farts. So poisonous. Shen Yang Xiao quietly praised Tanku for his poisonous tongue. Gufeng was angered. The other person was just an ordinary mercenary. On the other hand, he was from one of the top five mercenary corps of the Radiance Continent, the young head of the Iron Blood Mercenary Corps. Thus, he fumed in anger immediately. Who do you think you are to dare talk to me like that? You're just some negligible mercenary. Why don't you weigh your own value first? What's so great about being a part of such a small mercenary corps? Really? Nowadays people think that just anyone can become mercenaries. Seems that's the case here in the Rising Sun City. Do you think you can just casually pick up some embroidered pillows one, turn them into mercenaries and then deceive children? One, a person who has a face but no intellectual or ability. 